Um, Atheist Ireland uh, is campaigning um, on the basis of human rights against the blasphemy law. And so I'll go into the background of how, where our blasphemy law comes from in Ireland. Blasphemy was a common law offence under Irish law when the 1937 constitution explicitly made it an offence punishable by law. The De Defamation Act of 1961 also made it a statutory crime, but did not define what blasphemy was, and that's quite important. In 1991, the Law Reform Commission recommended deleting the reference to blasphemy from the constitution on the grounds that there was no place for such an offence in a society which respects freedom of speech. In 1996, the Irish Constitutional Review Group re recommended that reference to blasphemy be deleted from the Constitution. With regard to freedom of expression, the Review Group recommended that Article 46.1 should be replaced by a new clause protecting the right of free speech, which was modelled on Article 10 of the European Convention on Human Rights. It said that the onus should be on the government to show that restrictions on free speech were objectively necessary. In 1999, the Supreme Court in Ireland ruled on whether the Sunday Independent had published a blasphemous cartoon. The Supreme Court found that because there is no legal definition of blasphemy in Irish law, it is impossible to say what of the offence of blasphemy consists. The Supreme Court also said that under the Irish Constitution, the state is not placed in the position of an arbiter of religious truth. In effect, the Supreme Court found that the common law crime of blasphemy was inconsistent with the religious equality provisions of the Constitution, and thus had not survived the enactment of the Constitution. Four things happened in 2008 before the new Irish blasphemy law was passed. Firstly, the United Kingdom abolished its laws against blasphemy as part of the Criminal Justice and Immigration Act 2008. It was from the British common law against blasphemy that the Irish common law against blasphemy involved, and David has just gone through all that. Secondly, the Joint Oireachtas Committee on the Constitution recommended deleting the reference to blasphemy from the Constitution on the grounds that a modern constitution should not expressly forbid blasphemy. Thirdly, the United Nations discuss, discussed an Egyptian motion on combating defamation of religion. The motion was supported by Islamic states and opposed by European states. Ireland voted with the other EU states that it should not be such a crime as defamation of religion. Fourthly, the Venice Commission, the body that advises the Council of Europe on constitutional matters, published a report on freedom of expression and freedom of religion. The report concluded that incitement to hatred, including religious hatred, should be a crime, that insult to religious fee feelings should not be a crime, and that the offence of blasphemy should be abolished and should not be reintroduced. The Venice Commission report advised that the purpose of any restriction on freedom of expression must be to protect individuals rather than to protect belief systems from criticism. It said that people must be able to criticise religious ideas, even harshly and unreasonably, and even if it hurts other people's religious feelings, as long as they do not advocate hatred against an individual or groups. The report said that democratic society must not become hostages to the excessive sensitivities of certain individuals, and that freedom of expression must not indiscriminately retreat when facing violent reactions. Instead, the level of tolerance of these individuals and of anyone who would feel offended by the legitimate exercise of the right to freedom of expression should be raised. The report found that it is not exclusively or even primarily for the courts to find the right balance between freedom of religion and freedom of expression, but rather for society at large 
through rational discussions between all parts of society, including believers and non-believers. The report concluded that democracy must not fear debate, even on the most shocking and or anti-democratic ideas. It is through open discussion that these ideas should be countered and the supremacy of democratic values be demonstrated. Mutual understanding and respect can only be achieved through open debate. Persuasion, as opposed to ban or oppression, is the most democratic means of preserving fundamental values. In 2009, the Oireachtas was revising the Defamation Act 1961 with modern updated provisions. The 1961 Act included the offence of blasphemy. Instead of proposing to remove the undefined and therefore unenforceable blasphemy offence, the Minister for Justice proposed to define it in order to make it enforceable. Blasphemous matter is now defined as matter that is grossly abusive or insulting in relation to matters held sacred by any religion, thereby causing outrage among a substantial number of the adherents of that religion. And he or she intends, by the publication of the matter concerned, to cause such outrage. Three reasons to oppose the blasphemy law. Reason one, this law does not protect religious belief. It incentivizes outrage and it criminalizes free speech. The problematic behavior here is the outrage, not the expression of different beliefs. Instead of incentivizing outrage, outrage we should be educating people to respond in a more healthy manner than outrage when somebody expresses a belief that they find insulting or offensive. Reason two, this law treats religious beliefs as more valuable than secular beliefs and scientific thinking. Many atheists find many parts of the Bible and the Quran to be abusive and insulting, but this does not and should not mean that the Bible or the Quran should be banned. Reason three, we should be removing the 1930s religious references from the Irish Constitution, not legislating to enforce them. Our Constitution includes clauses that the Irish government um, lead the Irish government to argue that it is constitutionally obliged to buttress religious discrimination. Soon after the Irish blasphemy law was passed, Pakistan proposed the adoption of the precise wording from it as part of efforts by the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation to limit human rights on freedom of conscience. As just one example of how blasphemy laws are used in Islamic states, Asiya Bibi, a Christian mother from Pakistan, faces execution by hanging after being convicted of blasphemy. And two politicians that spoke out to support her have also been murdered. As Professor Heiner Bielfeld, the United Nations Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religion, advised Atheist Ireland to convey to the Constitutional Convention. There is a growing consensus within the human rights community that we have to move away from anti-blasphemy laws, which, as countless examples demonstrate, generally have intimidating effects on religious belief minorities, dissenters, converts and others. Rather than resorting to blasphemy legislation, what we ought to be doing is try to overcome stereotypes and prejudice by enhancing interreligious and intercultural communication. I wouldn't expect any harsh verdicts handed down in Ireland, but those countries that continue to have intimidating anti-blasphemy laws like to quote the European countries to unmask Western hypocrisy. In 2013, Atheist Ireland and David Nash addressed the Constitution Convention on the issue of blasphemy. We asked the Convention to recommend the following. Remove the offence of blasphemy from Article 46.1 of the Constitution. Revise Article 46.1 generally, modelled on Article 10 of the European Convention on Human Rights. Include in the revised article a clause forbidding laws against blasphemy. Consider the interrelated impact of the blasphemy clause and other religiously inspired aspects of the Constitution. 
In 2014, the Irish government decided that a referendum should be held on removing the offence of blasphemy from the Irish constitution. However, they later put that off for the incumbent government to deal with. The commitment is also under the current programme for government. However, we are concerned that the government might recommend replacing the blasphemy law with a constitutional provision against incitement to religious hatred. We believe that it should either be simply deleted or else replaced with a positive clause based broadly on Article 10 of the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms and other international human rights guarantees. Ono Dell from Trinity made the following expert proposal to the Convention. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, belief, speech, communication and expression. This right includes the freedom to seek, receive, hold and impart convictions, opinions, information and ideas of any kind, in any form, without interference by public authority. This right also includes the freedom of the press and other organs of public opinion and of other media communication. The exercise of these freedoms, since it carries with it duties and responsibilities, may be subject to such necessary limits that are prescribed by law and proportioned only to the interests of national security, territorial integrity, public safety or the common good. The prevention of disorder or crime, the protection of health or morals, but the protection of the reputation or the rights of others preventing the disclosure of information entitled to a reasonable expectation of privacy or otherwise receive in confidence or maintaining the authority and impartiality of the judiciary. In 2014, Atheist Ireland helped to launch a new international coalition against blasphemy laws along with Atheist Alliance International, the International Humanist and Ethical Union, the European Humanist Federation and the Centre for Inquiry Canada and others. The International Coalition Against Blasphemy campaign believes blasphemy and insult to religion laws are wrong in several ways. They violate the human right to freedom of expression. They protect religious belief and practices, institutions and leaders from legitimate and necessary criticism. They are, are intrinsically bad laws. They legitimise mob violence, vigilantism and persecution of minorities. Atheist Ireland we will continue to campaign against our blasphemy laws. Sometimes we get queries from um, aid agencies, people working on the ground in Islamic states, and they ask us, what are we doing over here to campaign against the blasphemy laws? Because they uh, uh, um, know what the effect of it is on their country. And later this year, we are hoping to be the first atheist organisation to uh, appear before the United Nations Human, Human Rights Council to speak on blasphemy laws under the Universal Periodic Review.